It's your boy, man. Street talk, is y'all ready? Scoop, I know you ready. Nigga, y'all already know who it is, man. Scoop, man. At the King Scoop, follow me or swallow me, Mr. Clip him outside. Blog God, it's me, man, in the flesh, man. What's popping with y'all? This blog right here is dedicated to... I'm winging this shit, too. I want y'all to know that I'm the best bloggy blogger ever, nigga. I'm winging this shit. Can't have a bloggy blog without the... Dutch Master Palmer. Basket, fuck with the motherfucking... Stendos, I fuck with these, man. Dutch Mass Palm, you see they all fucking gone, right? You see they gone? Yeah. So now that we got that the fuck out the way, uh, let me address some things, man. Uh, first off, there's a lot of people I be seeing trying to get money off of uh, the battles. So let's just dive right into it. You know what I'm saying? Um, damn, niggas thought I left? No, it's a bloggy blog. I don't leave and run from my problems. I run and get lighters. Um, Mr. Wright said, oh, yeah, I'm good. Um, people do, in my opinion. I think there should be a way for everybody to get paid off battles. There got to be a way. We're going to find it out. But to be honest, from a business standpoint, I can't just throw money out. How are we going to? We First off, we trying to build it up so that the stage is on the right level for y'all. You know what I mean? I, I battle my damn self, and I haven't even been battling, except for outside every event. You know what I'm saying? I clip somebody. You know what I mean? Oh, except for every event. I don't battle except for every event. You know what I'm saying? So I don't see, you know what I mean? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, um, I think everybody, the word is deserved. Everybody deserves to get paid, but not everybody can get paid. It, it comes down to this. If you can't bring 10 people to the venue to come see your show, then I can't even ask and talk to you about paying you any type of money. It just doesn't make sense. Does that make any sense? You could save the views. There's been a problem before. With King, there was a problem with King Will and Street Talk, and our problem was, is he wanted to get paid off of having a thousand views, you know what I'm saying, or get paid because he thought his name was gonna bring a lot of people towards it. I mean, to the events, which is cool. I mean, I like King Will. I'm a fan of everybody. You know what I'm saying that I put on the stage. I'm a fan in some sort of fashion of you. I go to war for niggas. You know what I'm saying. Let me pull the glasses down. I go to war for niggas. Let's not forget that. Let's not forget Scoop going to war for niggas. Because, I mean, I'm trying to think. Maybe there was a couple people that came in and on their first time just killed it. Like King Will, Taste Dash, Basket. But there's a lot of people that came in and the people that we set, that, that try to help me set up these events did not want y'all niggas back. I'm going to bat for niggas. Like, nah, man. I see the talent. I see where it could go. I see that he's going to try. I see that he's going to have a better performance. I see that he could take this shit serious. I can see this motherfucker going farther. I go to war for y'all motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? So don't <coughs> don't think that I don't fuck with y'all. Or me saying that or this is me not fucking with y'all. It, it's not true. You know what I'm saying? We fuck with everybody. When I say we, I mean me and my partner DJ. You know what I'm saying? The second half of this, you know what I'm saying? The yin to the yang of street talk. Uh, hold on. I might have stopped the bloggy blog for a second. But the, oh, okay. It just wasn't okay. We keep this going. 
I just wanted to address that part because a lot of people is asking for money. I know it another another thing a lot of people is asking about is the uh, ghost situation with no chill and um, if I'm uh, mad that people want to go to no chill here's my issue okay and I'm gonna just state facts and just keep it a bill Billy with niggas blog God um fucking our sponsor is e and j Apple make sure you Bite that apple. E and J apple. Hey, you see how much is left, right? I'm turned up. Today's my turn up day, so I'm turning up. Um, I believe that if we build energy up, first off, No Chill expressed a bunch of interest in battling street talk. As far as league versus league, I have no problem with that. Everybody from No Chill, you see that? I have no problem with setting up Street Talk versus No Chill. C knows this. C, the owner of New Chill. Uh, new ch no, what is it? Some sort of chill. Some sort of chill that y'all got over there. No Chiller Jones. You know what I'm saying? The No Chiller Jones League. Uh, C. He, he runs the league, you know what I'm saying? I respect C, first off. You know, y'all see me joking around on No Chill, throwing little shots, calling them food, you know, trying to build it up, you know what I'm saying? So, um, we had already talked about doing league versus league. I said, I want to see you guys throw an event, an actual event. I went to the event. There was Paperboy versus Ghost, Brick Flair versus Willie... Willie Will, Willie Will, Willie, Willie, <laughs> Illy Willie, <laughs> Rick Flair versus Illy Willie, and uh, the the Villy versus it versus Itchy Ishi 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 Ishi. Uh, <laughs> shit, I don't know about three battles and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But uh, I respect it. I'm glad y'all got a venue and shit. I see y'all trying to progress, which I salute that. I salute the culture out here. You know what I'm saying? I don't got no problem with that. I'm just saying, um, as far as Ghost, um, he's just starting to build energy over there. He battled Paperboy. They had a very good matchup. You know what I mean? Debatable. Either way, if you whoever you feel won, it's a debatable battle. You know what I'm saying? And now he's battling GBK. From my point of view, I believe that he's building energy over there. So, you know, I know that you guys need um, some roster slots. I've been asking for six names. I asked C the other day. You know, let's set it up. You know what I'm saying? For all my no chilies, if y'all watching this, you know what I'm saying? I asked C to set it up because I know y'all want to fucking get some shit cracking on the camera and shit. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, so... He just never hit me up about it. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I tried. I, I'm trying and shit. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Like, I'm really trying. You know what I'm saying? I I just want to see them progress and shit. So, I would love to do that, man. You know what I'm saying? I think we are doing bad for the record. That's just all I'm saying. I believe in my guys. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's how I feel about that. Rainer made his decision about not, not going on the card. But my thing is... If you want to battle in a street talk versus no chill battle, then why are you battling over there? But you about to battle again? That don't even make sense yet. Like, it would make sense after we did it, maybe. It could, depending on, you know what I'm saying, how they fare. But at least let them have their own roster and let them get their own matchups. Like, if you need a matchup, we can make a matchup happen. It's nothing but a phone call. But uh, that's how I feel about that, man. Um, I'm about to just let it rock. Uh, I want to say how this shit started, how how Street Talk started. It was me. I walked up to DJ. Into a, uh, we both were trying to do basically the same thing. So, being friends, me and DJ have always been friends. So, we uh agreed on Street Talk. A bat, we'll do battles and we'll do uh music also. We had an artist, Bama, at the time. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, let me get a little sponsorship drink. Um, some, it, all right, me and DJ, we wanted to get it cracking. Bang. The car we put together was fucking fire. I don't care what nobody say. Dead Man Walking was what changed hip-hop, what changed battle rap. The battle rap scene in Pittsburgh was Dead Man Walking one. That car was fucking Av, who's on URL, was booked on our car for a show off. That shit would have been nuts. Like, come on, man. This is before Av was on URL. You know what I'm saying? We had, I thought that that was a fire matchup. Jay Murder versus Drew City happened. It's in a vault. I can't lie. It's in a vault. Uh, Prez no show. King Will versus Sandman. There was a lot of hype around these matchups. Filthy versus Jizzle. I got vaulted. Um, Tay Stash versus Four One Two Kid. That was in a. That got. Oh no no no. That came out, but Four One Two Kid never uh, came out the vault. He just is in the vault by himself. Not with, he got footage, but he's just in the vault. But uh, damn. Well, oh yeah, Ghost and Fat Rap. Okay, bang. And it was supposed to be M80 and Chronic Gales, but M80 had a little issue, you know what I'm saying? Which we had a discrepancy, but it was that's that's water under the bridge. We had M80 cool. Um so I thought that that shit was fire, you know what I'm saying? I thought I thought we did a good thing with that. And um really but the, the behind the scenes on that was uh smugged out D West before anybody knew about these battles, before anybody knew how much we how serious we was about throwing them big, me and D West had many conversations on getting people on the card and his niggas versus my niggas. I, I got some niggas I think could go against your niggas, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. And then we started a league because how me and DJ wanted to do it originally is we wanted to bring Smack down here first. We was like, all right, let's get Smack and Real Deal and A-Verb and all that. Like, we wanted to do that first. But then after talking to D West and after uh, really sitting down and thinking about it, I decided, hey, we got talent out here. Let's put a stage together so people can get a look. You know what I'm saying? Can we just get them a look? That's all I'm saying. And uh, Street Talk was born. You know what I'm saying? And we just been consistently throwing events in venues. When uh, we losing money, when we started off, we was losing so much money that it was ridiculous. So people, I don't think a lot of the artists know how many thousands and thousands of dollars that we as a company have invested in you. You know what I'm saying? So just take that into consideration. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that you shouldn't get paid or you should get paid. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying at least take into consideration your personal situation. Like, let's build together, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, if I was making a million dollars, then, yeah, of course I'm breaking bread. But when I'm just making my money back and I got a whole family and I got bills and shit to pay, you know, I got, you know what I mean? It's just life, you know what I'm saying? But I'm trying to keep it going for y'all. All right, man. Now, uh, this is a little special time in my bloggy blog. I'm going to go through and answer these questions. All right, let's get it. First off, man, shout out Rax, man. You know what I'm saying? I've been raxing with Rax since day since Street Talk Day One. I've been raxing with Rax. It's, it's a Rax world, Rax world order. Shout out my nigga Rax. All right, all right. Be specific why me and Ghost can't go down and be real smugged out. Says on STE. Um, that particular matchup, Smug, you know this as well as Ghost know this. Y'all been trying to fucking battle. I've been trying to set that up and. We could have been got that the fuck out the way. But now it's like a terrible time. You know what I'm saying? To do it on our shit. We got a lot of uh we got a lot of new talent and shit that I'm trying to bring up and shit. So we're gonna see what happens in the next coming months and we might be able to set it up if we could just make it make sense. Like this uh smugged out. I don't even know if you really serious to keep it a billion smugged out, you know what I'm saying? I fucks with you. Um, top five matchups you personally like to see happen on Street Talk. Uh, 
Chronic L said that, and he's in one of those. I want to see Chronic L's versus Suge White. You know what I'm saying? And I want to see Chronic L's versus Skippy Ipcom. But my thing is, I think that Chronic L's and Suge White, their styles is going to match up perfectly for a battle. I think Skippy Ipcom has a total different style than Chronic L's, but them niggas just look the fuck alike. <laughs> so it's just be real inst interesting, you know what I'm saying? So definitely Shug and Chronic. Um, I want to see Filthy and Yak. Everybody knows that, you know what I'm saying? Yak, I fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Filthy and Yak. I definitely want to see Basket and D-Banks. I really want to see it. The more and more he did not, the more and more D-Banks be like, I don't want to I don't want to do it. The more and more I want to see it. Um, I want to see uh, King Will and Basket too. I really want to see King Will and Basket. And um, Tay Stash versus Cheech. I think that's that got to happen. All right. So uh, who y'all want to see me against? Uh, if Rax if Rax comes in battles and he's serious, I want to see him battle a nigga like M80 because y'all got history. Um, my favorite three STE battles, I would have to say. Um, King Will versus Sandman will always be one of my favorites because that was our first really introduction to the thing. So I'm going to just take that battle out of the equation. I'm not going to put that because that's obviously my number one. So I'll do three different ones. Um, Tay Stash versus Basket, I think, was one of the craziest battles we ever had. Heights versus Yaka. And... Oh man, uh, man, I don't want to miss that. I think that D Banks and Filthy was fucking crazy too. You know what I'm saying? I watch it and watch it and shit. That go back and forth with that one. All right, um, Mike, John on the, uh, I don't know what that means. Rax Five. City Cows next two ops. City Cows got El Dopo Villa May fifteenth. And then his second uh, opponent will be announced soon. I can't announce it yet, so you know what I mean, but City Cows is definitely out here. And it's City Cows versus Filthy. I do want to see that. You know what I'm saying? They building that up. And, hey, you know what I'm saying? I think that we might have to not might. That shit gotta go down. We gonna make a card of all matchups that just gotta go down. We're gonna do that like I don't know, November or something. Like that shit'll be crazy. Um Sup with a real two on two, yeah. I'm, I'm, <clears throat> I think, uh, the next direction, what is it, June, July, in between sometime near June, July, August. I definitely want to throw a two on two card. So, all the two on two teams, get your shit together, let me know. You know, what I'm saying because I definitely want to get it together. I think, uh, that's a, the next wave as, as long as well as judge battles for bread. Y'all want to put bread up and shit. I know Parlay and Rainer. And Fat Rat versus M80. And we need other people to come in, put some bread up, whatever you want to put up. You know what I'm saying? So let's do it, man. Put some bread up. We'll get some judges, some real reputable judges. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, fuck it. Talk about Smug TV. I talked about you, man. You one of the innovators. Can we get a, me and C. Lattimore in the ring? Uh, does, does C even rap? Does C rap? Out. <laughs> Shout out Z, man. We could do business, man, but I wouldn't I wouldn't advise him to jump in the ring with me. Uh why Rainer ain't battling on NCB I already addressed that. Am I really considering booking roadkill? Uh, uh was that animal? Yeah, I'm definitely considering booking animal. Uh what a lot of people gotta understand in street talk is that street talk is just a small piece of the hip hop pie, so you know what I mean. Animal is one of the respected names in Pittsburgh as far as battle rap to a, a whole genre of people that haven't even come out to see us. So you know what I mean. At least you got to give them the respect for doing it before, however you feel about him. You know I'm saying I know, uh, I know that uh, I saw his apology and shit. Like I really appreciate that. Like and then he still stepped up and apologized. Like. So it's, it's, it's about DJ. Whatever DJ want to do, we're going to make it happen. Really consider uh, answer Smug's interview questions. Yeah, answer them. Uh, 
No chill versus street talk. I told you about that. Elite versus fire squad. Y'all got y'all squads. I see blacklist, elite, NWO, misfitted, fire squad. Did I say fire? I mean, I see them all. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of amongst yourselves. Let me know if y'all want to, you know what I mean, set some shit like that up. Um, heights, wherever the fuck you are, like, come out of fucking retirement, man. I don't know what the fuck happened to Heights, man. Cause the people, there's some people that want to fucking holler at heights. And dress. Cats being shook of Suge White, man. That shit is so true. That shit is true, man. Like, Suge White reminds me, he's like the Suave Seven right now of Street Talk. There was a time when you saw uh, Suave kill Young Cannon. He killed uh, who you, Suge. He was just on a spree. He was fucking niggas up. And everybody was scared to take him, and by the time they did take him, they, it took they like get ready for years and shit. I feel like Suge White is fucking fire. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people need to see <clears throat> what he could bring to the table. Don't be scared to battle him, man. For real, like he's he's one of them niggas, man. For real. Uh, flag list Ziggy Nicks are. Oh, okay, I get it. Die boys, I don't know my memes. Yeah, give me some memes, man. I know y'all niggas could meme me to death, man. Meme my nigga. Two or two STE versus no chill. They gotta get enough for a car together. I mean, if y'all got enough, if yeah, if uh, no chill got enough for a car, let's make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Um, the fire squad takeover. We gonna see. Uh, these Ricky. <laughs> okay, the D Banks and City Cows on on URL. I see that D Banks. Um, what happened with the uh, with um, Smack's ticket? We had to book it because uh, we had to like literally book it so that he came there right on time. And like the plane was like ten fifteen minutes late or something. So they ended up Smack ended up not hosting the battle. So, <clears throat> they have the footage. the the fi The problem is, um, they haven't seen the battle yet. You know what I'm saying? Beasley's supposed to watch it, but I haven't talked to him in about three, four days. So, um, that was one of the discussions. But no matter what, we're gonna get you guys a URL. Look, he was on the he was on the on the stage for a reason, and it's contracted in and shit. So. It should drop on URL. Worst case scenario, it'll drop on uh, on Street Talk. But you guys will get a PG look. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I mean? I'm, I'm working on that too. I think that battle was fire. So hopefully they can drop it. It's just uh, Smack, Smack, Chico, and Beasley all got to give it the thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? To put it on their channel. But uh, Chronic and Heartless is definitely dropping. On URL, um, the best battle from MIC2 personally to me was I had to say Chiefs versus Detroit. There's so many factors in it. You know what I'm saying, but El Dopo Juice was crazy. M80 versus Shug was crazy. It's between them. It's a three-way split between them three. Basket Case versus Eat Nice. Basket Case deserves this matchup. I don't care what none none of y'all niggas say. This is what I'm saying. This is another part of me going to bat for niggas, like. I believe Basket is a legend. I literally seen Basket battle before I ever, let me think, how old was I? I was about 16, 15 years old I seen Basket battle. You know what I'm saying? So, Harley Dice, too. Downtown with the 412, still a jersey, you know what I'm saying? Out battling and shit on the corner right there by that Foot Locker and shit. Like, niggas know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? I was down there, like, I'm engraved in this culture, man. Like, a lot of people think I'm a new nigga, but I've been around, you know what I'm saying? It's just, uh... I was doing other shit, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm ready to chew niggas too, like, you know what I'm saying? Do any battle rappers deserve a check? Um, I addressed that already, so yeah, man. Them was the questions. Oh, shit. See, this is the thing, Basket, like, them extendos you be rolling, them is all right. They cool, but uh, these is the shit. 